Alright. Uh, I don't you. care what the hell they say. You gonna protect me? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. Thank you so much. Yes. I had a really good question, but I also heard him. But he, so you had said something that you had changed your diet yes. and all that sort of thing. Um, and it helped um, alleviate or eliminate yeah. seizures. And I heard that some of that stuff can also work for like autoimmune um, disorders. So I was wondering what specifically, or if there's anything specifically that you like eliminated or you incorporated to help with the the body. Yeah. So what I realized, um, because I, when I was working with that natural herbalist for five years, I did a lot of research. I actually wrote a book called The Complete Herbal Guide that had 600 pages to it. And it basically explains all the different supplements and what they can do. When I incorporated um, different supplements into my body, first, the, the one main thing that I saw a humongous change was detoxification. I don't think people realize as soon as we wake up in the morning and we have our first breath of air, we actually are inhaling toxins in the air. Everything, we are surrounded by toxins in our home, outside our home, the food we eat. When I went to Europe, half the food in Europe, they, the American food was banded in Europe. Uh, we couldn't get not even a quarter of the food, the American food, because we have so many impurities in our food. So the one thing I learned is I changed my eating habits, but the first thing I did was detoxification. So people don't realize this. Our body is full of detox, um, toxins. So when we have toxins in our, in our body, if we eat food, whatever the toxins may be, if our body doesn't recognize it, it stores it. So then you have all these toxins building up in your body. It slows all the organs in our body down. It slows the healing process. It builds inflammation. Now, even with epilepsy, inflammation can go, uh, the water in your brain can actually go to your brain, the inflammation can travel to the brain, plus, and, and the, the slight water retention could put pressure on the brain and cause seizures. Also, when you have inflammation, if you suffer from any type of bodily pain, like arthritis or joint pain, inflammation increases that pain. So, you know, by what I did was is I detoxified my body, I did a whole body cleanse, and I did a colon cleanse. Because people don't realize this. Anyone thinks I'm gross, just stop me. But our body has our, you know, our, our, our small um, inner intestines and outer intestines carries 15 pounds of stool. That's toxins in your body. Now, a lot of times people, the biggest problem in America, we suffer from constipation, many people, because we don't get enough of fiber and water in our diet, and some of the foods we eat cause constipation. So if we don't detoxify our body and get the, the stool to release, to get the toxins to come out of our body, it's going to stay there and cause other problems. So I did a whole body cleanse, I did a colon cleanse, I changed my diet, because you could, you could do those cleanses, but if you're going to still eat the same foods, right. it's useless. So then I really started looking at labels, and I started looking at food. And I read a book called Vegan vs. Vegetarian. Now, I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian, but if I told you, if you read what they do to those animals and what they put in some of the foods, yeah. You would never want to eat any any of those foods in the market. You know, in chicken, they were putting arsenic in the chicken to make it plumper. You know, all the dyes. You know, our cheeses are actually white. They put yellow dye. Yellow dye is cancerous. You know, and we don't think of these things. You know, they put in eggs. They were putting hormones in, in, the, in a lot of the chickens. And a lot of the chickens, um, and, and, and antibiotics. Because if one chicken gets sick, they have them a lot. I'm not saying that Wyoming does this, but you know, like you know, over a lot of the places, they would put hundreds of chickens in one small area. If one chicken would get sick, they would put antibiotics in that chicken, and then they would have to put in there all the chickens because if one chicken was sick, then all the chickens are sick, and then they sell it in the food market. So young girls at the age of eight were going through menstruation and build, and having and their and their breasts were getting larger because they're going through hormones hormone changes when they're not supposed to go through that young. Now think about what it's, 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 our whole bodies are run by hormones. Adults, your body, function by hormones. So 
if you're changing eating foods that have hormones or have impurities or have dyes, you are changing the structure of your inner body and your body is changing according to what you're putting in it and other problems can occur. So we really have to change the way we eat. Yes, sir. What, uh, what, uh, what, uh, uh, the, uh, the diet and that. My diet? The, uh, the, uh, the diet. Um, uh, I, I think you just need to eat more. If, you know what? It, it makes me mad, but we need to eat more organically. But the, the prices of organic food is ridiculous. So, you, yeah, so you want to be healthy, but most people can't afford to be healthy. But I think chicken, you know, try to buy organic. You know, foods, you know, milk, I, I cut out dairy out of my product. I don't, oh, listen, I like my cheeses, but the, the milk I cut out, I, re, I replaced it with, with um, other, uh, other types of organic uh, alternatives. My son, doctor, told me he said, I don't to be so much healed. What? It's almost healed. When it's healed, mm -hmm. I get everything I want. Oh, yeah? Wow. It's that goal, though, right? It's the goal you have to reach, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a little. Yeah. And it's healed up all it's the It's kind of like what she was talking about, right? Yeah, that's right. Goal. So, you know, bananas, um, the, the, the peel is so thick, you don't have to buy organic uh, bananas. You can buy regular bananas. So people oh. think you can have to buy regular bananas. I mean, I mean, organic bananas. You could actually buy regular bananas. It's it's the the foods that they inject, the foods you know, the foods that are sprayed with impurities. Those are the foods that you have to watch out for, and you know, and eat slower, and try to look at the sodium levels and look at the sugar because sugar is toxic. You know, I actually cut out the sugar out of my diet, and it was like cutting heroin out of my diet. <laughs> That's really hard to do. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna lie. I felt like an addict, like, I want my sugar, I want my sugar. <laughs> you know, but it, it took a while. I cut the sugar out of my diet, and I actually felt better. I felt more energetic, and I lost the cravings for sugar. And if I eat, eat something and it's sugary, I'm like, oh, I don't like it. It's too, too sweet for me, you know. So, you know, those are two things. And if you have high blood pressure... You might be, you know, cut down that sodium level. You might see a difference in that too. And you want, you want to feel energetic, you know. I, I, um, I get enough of sleep. Sleep is so important. People don't realize you need your eight hours sleep. Even if you sleep more, it's good. You, you need sleep. My seizures decreased when I gave myself enough, enough time to sleep and I learned how to cope with my stress. You have to learn how to cope with stress. Everything in life causes stress. We go through stress every day. And it's just, we, I, I, everybody can, can, can make probably 100 pages of things that cause stress in their life. But learn how to deal with it. I say meditation, relaxation, self-love, giving yourself time for yourself, expressing your emotions, either with the person or on paper, however it is. You got to figure out what works for you, and you have to learn how to deal with your stress in life. And you'll see that it will help you health wise also. You're welcome. You're very welcome. So I hope they help you guys. Hope it didn't talk your heads off. I'm going to say it. It's a good way. That's how you catch it. Well, thank you, everybody. It's been a pleasure. You're very welcome.